Hi, hi everybody. Welcome back to Online Stuffs Review. Okay, today I'm going to share with you guys uh, one of the uh, issue which I personally encounter and then uh, I'm trying to find a solution for this uh, um, problem that I have and that is to connect my this uh, Samsung Express m 2 a 5 w which is an old printer I know, okay, to my ASUS router. Okay, um, so uh, in this video there will be two parts, okay, two main parts. First part is this easier one whereby we will just configure uh, uh, this printer over here to link up with the Wi-Fi directly from the printer itself and then there'll be a second part which if, if this first part doesn't work for you then you have to go on and try on the second part uh, and then uh, uh, that should work for you because it personally worked for me so okay let me go through this thing and show uh, this this process over here okay right now when you uh, power up the printer right what you do is um, you go to menu okay over here menu and then you um, go to number five okay which is network you press ok and then all this thing you can skip okay um, and you go to wireless okay uh, number five network and go to wireless you will see wi-fi on off you press ok you can turn it on or off which of course we want to turn it on right now so on and then after that it goes to okay wi-fi direct is a feature whereby you can configure the printer to be able to stand alone whereby somebody can just link uh, to your uh, printer and print directly without going through your router okay if you want you can set it up okay uh, but i will not cover it here uh, but if those that want me to cover uh, please leave a comment in the description and then um, the next one i want to touch on is wps setting which i also won't cover okay this one is a automatic feature which um, uh, they, they you know somehow they find it's work but for me i never used this option before okay this is what we're going to touch on today this uh the wireless LAN, WLAN setting, okay, what you do is that um you go into wireless LAN setting and then what you do is that you uh select um wizard, okay, and you will search for wireless network, okay. So over here you will show you a list of all the various um um SSID that you can actually choose from. So after you choose the um, SSID, then they will ask you to key in the WPA key. So um you will key in the uh, a password of your Wi-Fi router like how you would connect uh, to a mobile phone and then after that um, you just go OK and then um, sorry uh, I have to key this in just a second uh, let me pause the video OK you key in the WPA key and then you press OK apply yes OK and you will be safe then you will see the blue light blinking over here okay and then it's actually attempting to connect to your this uh, home wi-fi router okay let me just wait a minute um, this may take some time uh, sometimes okay it's show connected so you know that okay it's connected to your uh, home uh, wi-fi router already so if uh, after you have after you've completed this part means that the printer has been successfully linked to your router what you need to do is go to windows select add printer and you should be able to see uh, your this uh, printer on the windows uh, part uh, uh, that means you add, add, add the printer okay uh, like how you would add other device okay you, you will see the printer in your windows okay for those who um, if let's say you um, uh, after you try this and you you cannot you just still couldn't get um, the printer to be detected to be able to uh, recognize or rather uh, uh, add the printer successfully to your network or on your or on your computer please continue to watch the second part of the video okay um, okay right now we are back to uh, uh, we have set up the printer already you are back to Windows so in Windows here um, what you do is that you click on this um, icon add uh, a printer okay and then you should see a screen you know um, trying to scan okay uh, as we, we are already connected uh, just now we are we, we are we are actually connected the printer to the router already so i try to scan it here but um it shows nothing then i realized the printer has no lights on so what i did is that I actually i turn on the lights uh, or rather I, I i turn on the printer but uh, i realized that it is no use you know the, the the printer can be turned on but then this one can keep scanning and scanning and scanning and then uh, it just cannot get anything yeah so uh, right now i'm going to go through the second method uh, which is a bit more uh, complicated more comprehensive and then uh, it works for me so i guess it should work for you yeah 
Let me hold on. Okay, um, before before we proceed to the next step, okay, we will need to download uh, some of the software, okay. Uh, so you when you uh, actually do a Google, right, there will be a various link that will tell you, oh, you can go to this website to download uh, some drivers for HP. Uh, and all those may or may not be the real ones, okay, so you have to be careful. Uh, I found the one, uh, this one actually is from HP. Uh, Samsung actually sold the printer business to HP, so now it's all under supported under HP. Uh, I will leave the link in the description uh, below, so you can go over and download you know, all the critical, uh, or rather all the important uh, or authentic genuine uh, drivers for this uh, printer. Okay, right now, what the one of the software that we will need over here is the actually the Samsung uh, Easy Printer Man Manager. Okay, to in order for us to do this, you will require a printer cable. Okay, uh, yeah, I know it's a bit troublesome, but you need a printer cable. You need to plug in the printer cable to the printer, and then of course, uh, print it, uh, link it up to your um, <coughs> uh, PC, and then you will realize that um, uh, it prompt. Oh, you know, you you realize that it, it, this printer showed up. Okay, but uh, don't don't be too happy yet because this is actually showing up because you are connecting to a cable. So this is actually linked via a uh, 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 USB. It's not um it's not it is not um you know it is not using you know you can see over here it's actually uh USB. So so yeah, not to be too happy yet. So uh uh so now uh let's go to the main part. Okay, right now it says uh you want to uh, basically it's saying that new hardware detected, so you click yes. Okay, and then you will detect the, 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 the printer. Like I say, this is currently now via the cable. So what you need to do is um, go to uh, this uh, device setting. Okay, click on device setting. And then um, you will see many options over here. But the one that we are interested right now will be the network uh, setting. Okay, so you click on network settings. And then over here, you will see the MAC address and then um, and, and, and other thing that you can uh, that, that you need to know okay so um, other than uh, setting the Wi-Fi uh, from the printer I also tried the wizard over here you can see over the wizard here so I click the wizard and then um, it, it shows uh, 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 many um, this uh, SSID and then you know, I select one and then um, okay. Sign it again. Okay, and then, uh, yep. So you can actually try this. Uh, same thing. Uh, I I have tried this, but then uh, it doesn't work. So it, it still couldn't connect. So it was really frustrating. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Previously, it didn't work for me, but it seems like this time around it works for me. Okay, uh, uh, as you can see, after I do this, right? Um, if you um observe, okay, you need we need to be a bit, a bit of tech, a bit technical over here. Okay, you can see that um, um, the there's a IP assign method, DHCP IP address one nine two dot one six eight, which is typically the home uh, IP address that we have. All these things are over uh, are listed correctly. So uh, previously when I was uh doing the troubleshooting and trying to add a printer, um, I get um, funny IP address. Um, instead of this 192.168, I get things like, um, uh, let me see, let me find, okay. I get things, I get the IP address that 169.254, that, you know, something else. So so that IP address will not work, but um, when you see that the, you, the, the IP address is actually a, a range that is specified in for your home network, uh, and this should work. Yeah, so let's go and hit a try it. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just uh, go through what I did previously. Um, previously, uh, this was actually set as automatic. And then the IP address was uh, assigned uh, randomly, like the one I told you, 169.254 something. And then the subnet mask is like 255.255.0.0 .255 and then and so on. So uh and i just couldn't add the system to the network okay so um 
let me just tr pause and try and see whether can I add it right now. Okay, um, okay, I managed to replicate the the so called the problem back. Okay, um, this is what I got previously. Okay, previously when I add the printer to the to the router, uh, I I I couldn't search it on my uh, PC and I couldn't add it to my uh, network. I mean, uh, add it to to be used by everybody. Okay, and then uh, previously it was set as uh, automatically and DHCP enabled uh, auto IP, and then this was the IP address that was assigned. And then one look at this, uh, it just will not work. It cannot detect. No matter what I do, it just couldn't because uh, this is on the different network as well. You know, uh, I mean, this is a bit technical, but just take it as it is. So, uh, in order for this to work, uh, what we need to do is uh, change this to manually. Um, assign IP address changes to manually and then um, you can key in uh, for myself I actually set my you know printer to be this uh, IP address so it's easy to remember 192.16.1200 and then you change the subnet mask to 255.255.255.0 gateway I'm not sure it's necessary but um, I don't know I just put in the default which is 192.168.1.1 so okay, all done. You can you like you can put the host name as whatever you want, which I put uh, as printer name. And if you want to set the Wi-Fi direct, it's over here. Okay, remember this is a save button. You have to save it so that setting can be saved onto the printer. So you save. Okay, change setting save to device successfully. Okay, now, uh, yes. Okay, just going to proceed. Okay, as you can see over here, um, the printer is detected on USB one, uh, I mean USB port, and then it is also um, fixed to this particular IP address, which is one eight two dot one six eight dot one dot two hundred. Okay, when you see this, right, it's actually good news. Okay, when you see this, you are actually um, be able to go into the printer. Okay, let me just quickly show you all here. Okay, as I said just now, um, when we could see uh, this page, uh, we can see this page is good news because um, like I said just now, I actually set the printer to this particular IP address. All I need to do is just key in this IP address on the browser and hit enter, right? Um, oops, I need to allow all. Okay, scripts. So um, when you set the IP, it's basically telling uh, your router that look, okay, for this um, printer service, uh, it goes to this particular uh, website. I mean, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, let me correct. Uh, where we specify the IP address means you're telling you, okay, this is the address, the fixed address for this printer. So with this, um, you can see here that, oh, you know, we, we, we are able to see everything over here, you know, the the serial number everything just by keying in this address and you know that this one is done correctly so we are uh, almost completing uh, this uh, particular uh, so-called uh, issue so please bear with me i know it's quite long uh, okay let me do the last step with you guys okay so now we can see everything here uh, so what i'll do is that right now i'm going to unplug the cable okay i'm going to just unplug the cable Okay, unplug the cable and then I refresh. Not sure this one will be gone. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Now you can see here that I unplugged the cable. So the USB is gone right now. Okay, the USB is gone. And then um, let okay, you see that this one is just you gray out. So we see this one here, which um, seems like it's automatically added uh, already. Um, yeah, let me just make sure it's correct. Yeah, it seems like it automatically added the system. But in any case, I'll still go through the, the steps with you guys, okay? Just in case it doesn't show it up, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to remove this one because it's the um, right the USB. So, uh, okay. 
just in case it doesn't show up, right? Okay, if let's say if the printer doesn't show up at the end of this uh, exercise or rather this uh, method that I uh, taught you, and you what you need to do is you click at a uh, device or at printer, or I mean, at, you click at printer and then you click on this part, the printer that I want wasn't listed, so click on this one, and then you will come to this page over here. Uh, and at this page, uh, what you will need to do is uh, add a print, you select this option, add a printer using a TCP IP, TCP IP address or host name. Click over here, you click next, and then um, I'm not okay, I'll just leave it as auto detect 192.168.1.200. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so okay, because there's another one that actually selected already, so right, that's why. Um, it shows again. So what you do is that uh, um, for those of you who are trying, what you do is that come over here, you have the key and you're telling your uh, computer that, look, I want this uh, printer with this IP address to be, you know, the, the shared printer, you know. So, so, so you come over here and you do, and what you do is that you click next. Let me just click next and see whether you will add or not, since I already added one more. So, okay, you will detect the model. Okay, so yeah, if it doesn't, then... Um, you can choose print a Windows update from here. Uh, let me see whether can I get this done. So anyway, over here it is almost done. So what you need to do is um, select the driver and then you click next and then it will go through and be added. Okay. Uh, so after upon successful adding, it should appear uh, over here. And then um, uh, let me just do a quick uh, test print. Uh, yeah, maybe a, so. This is how it works. So do a test print. Okay, you can. I'm not sure you can hear the sound. I hear the sound. Okay, so um, okay. Hope this uh, will help you guys. Uh, thank you for staying watching this long video. I hope this will help you uh, with your problem. And um, thank you for watching. And uh, if you like my video, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, uh, it's free, and then uh, that will be great also. And then if you like this video, please click like because it will actually help my channel and the YouTube algorithm to actually push my video up. And I have other videos about uh, uh, other tips, other hacks, and other help. And uh, you can actually just take a look at them if you are uh, keen. And if you could like them as well, uh, that will be great. So thank you for um, watching. Uh, have a nice day, stay safe, um, and thank you, bye.